Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. This is a podcast that's not going to have a lot of weather to talk about. Very quiet weather conditions are coming our way here for quite a while. Dry and warm today and Thursday across the Rocky Mountain West. The system that did bring a little bit of rain shower activity to the region yesterday is gone, headed off to the east. Dry, warm, high pressure comes in behind it. Now we're still expecting a cold front for Friday and Saturday that will bring windy conditions and cooler temperatures, but very little moisture. The front really is gonna do more harm than good, especially with the wildfires in Wyoming and Colorado, because the winds are gonna pick up and those winds, while they will drag in cooler air and higher humidity for the weekend, they're gonna bring precious little or no rain, and then those strong winds will be a concern. Nothing big on the horizon for next week either. Now, one thing to be cautious about, this time of year, you can take a look at long-range forecasts that go out two or three weeks that don't show any weather at all, but that can change very, very quickly. As we change the seasons, the computer models have even a more difficult time handling the weather, but for the next week, we're pretty confident we're not gonna really see much of anything going on. This is the upper level winds for today, the jet stream has got a trough up there in the Gulf of Alaska. That little ripple that came through yesterday is here, moving off to the east. And high pressure is bulging in out of California back into the Rocky Mountain West. So for today, Thursday, and most of Friday, we're going to be under a high pressure ridge moving into the central and northern Rockies. By Saturday afternoon, we've got a low moving right along the U.S.-Canadian border. It's going to drag a cool front through, so cooler northwest winds aloft come in dragging in some cooler air for the weekend. This is not a dramatic drop in temperature, but enough to notice. See how these black lines are tight together? So strong jet stream winds here going perpendicular to the Continental Divide will make it windy, windy especially Friday and Saturday. We do see the winds easing up heading into next week, though. That'll be good news. When it comes to precipitation, this is all we can muster. The Pacific Northwest, good for them. They're going to get some more moisture. But as that front and that trough rides along the U.S.-Canadian border, it's the northern areas that are going to get a little bit of precipitation here and there. But the Pacific Northwest catching most of it. This is just maybe some weak, isolated showers over the higher terrain. And most of those are really not going to really do anything. As we look out to 10 days, this is for next Friday and Saturday. we got a big ridge rebuilding right along the west coast. This amplifies the jet stream pattern. Look at that big dip. We got a big cold trough in the Great Lakes in the Midwest. They're gonna get cold while we're gonna be warm. Now, anytime you get a big trough in the Great Lakes and the East, the Western United States is gonna be in fair high pressure. That's just how it goes. We have to get this reversed. You see this Gulf of Alaska low? Well, if there's a low in the Gulf of Alaska, that means a ridge in the Rockies. So this pattern right here has to reverse. We got to get a high up here to get a low and a change in the weather back here. So at least through the 2nd and 3rd of October, there's really nothing on the table right now that's going to bring about a big change. Now we will be in a northerly wind flow. See that upper level wind is actually coming in from the north. So there will be some cool fronts next week that will maybe moderate temperatures, keep the heat west of the divide here, while east of the divide will have some fallish days. But this is not a good way to make it wet. So the forecast for probably most, if not all, of next week is looking pretty dry. Now what will happen 10 days beyond 10 days into 15 and 20 days, we might see some changes by then. But at least into the first day or two of October, the weather is a real yawner. Thanks for listening and watching the Day Weather Podcast. We'll see you on Thursday.